proofread chat. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, you gotta proofread that because I don't know what that say, baby. Hey guys, it's your little auntie, the one that looked just acting young for her age, but I'm still real, real lit. And today. We got a question and answer video you guys ask on Instagram and I answer, girl. I didn't hold back either. YOLO. This will be brought to you by Asha Maori Hair. They sent over this beautiful blonde wig, guys. So I'm going to show you guys this hair real quick and then we'll hop straight into the question. Guys, let's hop straight into the packaging. Asha Maori Hair, this beautiful blonde number. You get socks two different type of press-ons there's an edge comb slash brush there's an eyebrow razor in here there's your edge band you will also get wig caps this box is like never ending eyelashes this is your contact card and your instruction card this is a robe yeah they gave me a cute robe with their name on it and let's just get into the hair it is 26 inches it has combs adjustable strap on the back and we're gonna hop straight into the install look at this beautiful color it came pre curled we're gonna go ahead and tint the lace the color of my foundation and I'm just using a big fluffy foundation brush so let's go ahead and get into the install I always start by moving everything out of my face and out of the way so I can see where I want to go with this and I just decided to do a flip over method nothing too complicated something easy that I could do because I was very nervous because I just it, it makes me nervous dealing with blonde hair because I really don't know what I'll be doing half the time. But we go cut the ear tabs off so that it will fit. They weren't too big. Sometimes they be all the way to my neck almost. But we're just going to cut that off so we can get straight into it. So next what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take my got to be glue gel. This is what I use so that my wigs can stay down. I put it around the perimeter of my forehead or the length of the wig and then I dry it. Everything I'm using is always linked below the video. Just always check below the video. Once it's dry, I'm going to pull the wig back down and push the wig into the gel so that it will go ahead and adhere to my head. I'm going to blow dry it first. I'm going to take my wax stick and push the hair out the way again. This is very important to me because with that hair in the way, you really can't see what you're doing. Dry it again and then tie, well not again, I never did dry it and then tie it down. So after it's good and dry, honey, we're going to take it off, make sure it's on good. And it is, once again, getting the hair out the way. I'm going to take the even spray and this is what I use to melt the lace in. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with the gel with the spray. Give it a quick spray. Give it a quick dry with the dryer. You guys always say, what blow dryer is that? That is just a regular fan. After it's dry, I tied it down. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the lace off. I went a little haywire with the gel and the glue. So it was kind of hard to peel that back. Um, you just don't have to use so much product. I wasted a lot of product, but YOLO. So we're going to cut that off. And after I cut the lace off, I always go back in with a little bit of the spray because it's going to pull it up just a little bit. And I always leave a little bit of the lace on. That's what make it stay longer and adhere better. Do not close like cut like right at your hairline. So that's what you got right there. It looks pretty good. So I have the whole wig lace cut off. I'm going to take my foundation and first of all, put it on my forehead where I didn't have any and then blend that lace in with it. You're going to see the difference with the foundation and without. If that's too much lace for you guys, just go ahead and cut it off. I just feel like this worked better for me and helped my wig stay on longer. So it was cute like that, but y'all know I'm going to get that little flip over action going. It came curled already, so there wasn't much I had to do. I'm just taking a wax stick and a spray and just making it look neat. You know, I want it to look messy, but neat. It's a happy medium, you know. So I'm just flattening that out. I am going to comb through the hair. And it's beautiful comb through, like just like that. But you guys know I like a little bit of curl so it can file throughout. So I'm going to go back in and put the curls back in. 
I know that seems crazy because it came with curls, but this is a totally different type of curl. <laughs> and that's about it. So I will make sure I leave the link to this week, Ashamari Hair, in my discount code below. Guys, please check them out. They are bum over there. This wig is banging. And like I said, everything will be below. Let's move into the video. All right, guys. So there are quite a bit of questions. And that's cool. This is y'all time to ask. Usually I'll be sugarcoating, but baby, now y'all yeah, finna let it all out. Then there's another sheet. Honestly, a lot of you guys asked all the same question, which I touched over already in the intro, so I don't even know where to start. It don't matter where, just start, child. Okay, so the first question is, how, hope you are, hope you are feeling, hope you are feeling and your dad each day is new start, the feeling better, our mind hold on to. I promise you that's exactly what it say. Hope you are feeling and your dad each day is new. Start that feel better. Our mind hold on to. Honey, proofread chat. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You got to proofread that because I don't know what that say, baby. So, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to just skip right on over there. Yeah, it's cold in my house because it's cold outside. And I need to turn the heat on. Um but i refuse to turn the heat on while i'm doing this because it's gonna make me hot so let's move on to the next how's your health did you get your shoulder injection my health is up and down i got my shoulder injection in this vlog right here i got that like a week before thanksgiving so where you been since you ain't been watching yeah i got it because i was talking about how it wasn't like when i got this one over here um it wasn't as painful but i don't think it was as active either i still feel a little bit of mm in my shoulder sometime and this one since this lady did it i ain't felt nothing so i don't know if this lady didn't go deep enough or what but yeah i got that as far as all of that i feel a whole lot better but mentally if you guys know when your mental is off your physical health is off too so i had my days to where i be feeling like my chest tightening and my head hurting and all that but you know i'm going through a lot right now and that's what comes with headaches i mean heartaches and all that so that's gonna happen so the next question is you're cute as hell the fittest fitting thank you honey <laughs> um she's referencing the fit that i put on the picture uh i mean on the question what the hell am i talking about Make sure I don't cut too much of that off. Um, I wore it when I was in Houston. It was like a jelly she varsity jacket. I don't think they sell that anymore. And even if they did, I wouldn't recommend it. It was very cheaply made. And the appliques or whatever they are called patches started coming off. So it did its job for the picture. But baby, I wouldn't recommend it. Y'all ain't been be cussing me out embarrassing y'all. <laughs> So, okay, I'm going to pump up the uh, my volume because I'm going to have to dry. Do you see yourself remarrying if you do divorce? I am divorced already. Um, Nicole left. And since we are in the state of Texas and we were married prior to same-sex marriages being legal here. And we got married in a whole other state. We don't technically have to get a divorce. So, once it was over, it was over. Um, my ring is off. Her ring is off. They are actually sold and the money is in my account because I bought them. So, um, do I see myself remarrying? Absolutely. I am not going to give up on love. Um, marriage is a beautiful thing when it's right. Sorry, I told you it's cold in here. Marriage is a beautiful thing when it's right. I, I loved being married. Um, it's just when times got hard and we couldn't pull each other out of those hard times, it just got too much for both of us. So, yes, I do see myself remarrying. In my last vlog, I was joking and saying I'm delivered. Um, I want a man. But I am open. I'm not asexual. I'm not bisexual. I'm just open. I don't put labels on it. But I don't think I want another woman. I can't deal with the sensitivity of it. I can't deal with the emotional part of it. If you're another woman, you're going to have to act like a man. Mm -hmm. 
this is not a question so i'm gonna go ahead and answer it say i mean respond to it love you sis i'm so glad i discovered your youtube love your back boo i'm so glad you discovered it too because baby platinum needs some views Platinum need her subscribers to move. If y'all didn't know, me and a lot of OG channels are shadow banned. And that just means that we not in the algorithm. So, it's by luck that y'all seeing my stuff, honestly. Some of y'all still get a notification, but I was on TikTok the other day. Posting my vacation video and the girl was like, Oh my gosh, I used to watch you on YouTube. What happened to your channel? And I was like, really? Shh, I don't know what YouTube doing, but... I stopped worrying about that because it was just stressing me out because they I don't know what they doing so yeah while we wait on this hair to mold um let's just go ahead and answer a question how is our little buddy doing um honestly that is really hard for me to determine ever since my dad came home he's been like really quiet so I know the last few days he was in the hospital, they put him on anxiety medication because he kept feeling like he was having heart attacks because he was having chest pains. And so they ruled that it's been anxiety. And so they um, kept him on that so that, you know, he wouldn't have anxiety as bad as he was having. And it has mellowed him out a whole lot. Um, He's been worried about his bills and stuff because, of course, they got behind. And he just left him out of here like five minutes ago saying, um, saying that it just everything happened at once too fast because now he feels bad because I'm left with, you know, all the bills. And, of course, Nicole is helping for now. But how long is that going to last? So uh, I think he's a little worried. And all of his bills got behind when um, he was in the hospital. So, he's worried. I wish he had a cash up. I'll leave it. Because he don't want to put all the burden on me. Clearly, that's how I got in this situation, right? He don't want to put all the burden on me. His church has been helping him. This is what I do. I leave my cash up right here and below. This is for buddy only. So if you send it, please title it buddy. I don't need no money. And I will show y'all who sent what and show y'all where it went. Because I don't need nobody thinking I need no money. Uh, I leave it below. So, uh, yeah. Health wise, uh, his eye still wanders. But he's driving. He's going to church. Uh, he lost a friend. He made it to her funeral. So, one day at a time. He's going through physical therapy and all that. So, they can teach him how to drive with his the difference in his vision and stuff now. And he's okay. And how am I feeling emotionally as well? I'm okay. Uh... I go through this why me what's next what am I supposed to be doing because I have like a guilt to me to where I feel like I should be laying around crying or sad or something and I'm but I don't feel like doing that I mean I lay around a lot I sleep a lot I probably gain gained five pounds you can see it all in my face because I just eat and go to sleep and work eat go to sleep and work but this is all still new to me. Yeah, it ain't even been a month. Nicole moved out December 19th. As of today, it is the 7th. <laughs> it ain't even been a month. So, of course, I'm going to feel, you know, a certain type of way still. You can't just throw 14 years away, you know, like that. But I'm okay. I will say that. I'm way better than I thought I was going to be, child. I don't know what I thought I was going to be. Maybe that's what took all this so long. But... I'm okay. Okay, did you get your wallet back? I answered that in my last vlog as well. That vlog was jam-packed full of information. But I asked these questions the day before um, it went live. So that's why a lot of this stuff is repetitive. Um, no, I did not get my wallet back. <laughs> no, nobody ever tried to use anything. Um, it's just all a mystery to me. I didn't get the wallet back. I didn't get a call about it. I didn't get a nothing. So, I eventually did end up, because what I did at first was just turned all my cars off online. Oh, I need to pull that down some. 
um what i end up doing was locking all of them but the day before i went to cancun i went ahead and canceled all of them except one so i would have something in cancun i just kept it off and eventually end up replacing all of them which was an easy process because i have all of them now i have all of my credit cards now i'm just still waiting on my social security card and one main bank card so the process was real easy afterwards only one company tried to charge me for a replacement card and i said let me tell y'all what y'all can do close my account oh they they reneged real quick oh no we'll we'll send it out for free that's what i thought <laughs> Baby, that's what the, I thought. How you gonna charge me for a replacement card? Okay, what you can do is not send me a replacement card and close my account out. How about that? I pray to God when I go back and edit, this is not too loud. And I think it might be, so let me just not do it. So this same person, this is all still in the same question. Did you get your wallet bag from now on? Will you put an air tag on it? I already have an air tag on it. I bought one of those little things. I don't feel like getting up. It's like a credit card. You slide it in. I got it off Julie's channel. Julie is the, um, she's a influencer. She's mostly on TikTok and she do a lot of what's in my purse and everything. She love pink from Oklahoma. Yeah, I probably already follow her anyway. She, um, showed it. So I'll link it below. Because that's the first thing I said is, oh, I should have had an air tag. Maybe that would have made it so much easier. But should have, could have, would have. Too late now. It's not about your downfall. It's how you recover from it. And we moving on from that because they really had me sad for a minute. But I got all my cars back. Nobody's trying to use anything. It could have been a whole lot worse. I could have woke up with numerous of charges. I could have woke up with my credit temper with and i didn't so thank you lord let's move on from that wallet situation are you planning on decorating and i think it cut her off because it's only so many things y'all can say or letters or characters or whatever so i said do you plan on decorating i knew that was coming um but i'm not sure i don't i'm not sure what i want to do this is all fresh y'all I, I ain't been separated or divorced a month yet, so I don't know what I want to do because um, I know I kept saying that I wanted to move into my other house. And a lot of you guys probably was referencing or thinking that I hadn't moved because of Nicole, but it's more than just about Nicole. Nicole is not my only stress factor. My daughter stresses me out, believe it or not. Um, my dad stresses me out. And my thing with my dad is he's real old school. He don't listen. So he gets donations from people. He brings stuff in off he saw on the street. He clouds my kitchen counter with old canned goods and stuff. And my new house is very modern. You guys have seen it. If you haven't, it's very modern. It's very well put together. It's very everything is it's the complete opposite of this house. And I just didn't want to move over to I didn't want to move over to that other house without an understanding that this is my house i worked hard for this i love the aesthetics of it and y'all not gonna mess it up bringing in nightstands you found on the street and canned goods or roaches and i mean boxes from the church with like macaroni and cheese boxes from the church with roach dead roaches and shit all in and all so me moving to the other house was more than just about nicole <laughs> um the factors were i thought my daughter was gonna go to school but she didn't um me and nicole figuring out if we were gonna stay married and i was gonna find a senior living apartment for my dad before i moved and so i'm still like on the verge of figuring out what to do about that so if <laughs> um i don't do the senior living and i move to the other place then what would be the point of decorating here but if i don't move of course i'm gonna decorate i've already started not decorating but and this is how i like it i've always been a really clean person but in my marriage i got really low depressed because nicole didn't clean up and stuff so i just stopped so now slowly but surely as my strength gang i can make this look like i want to it to look because of course if i move to the other house then i would put this one on airbnb or rent it out so i would still want it to look up to par so long story short that that question wasn't 
wasn't as easy to answer as some of you guys may think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I answered it. So how are you really feeling about everything that's going on? That's kind of repetitive too. I've already explained that. I am very at peace with everything that is going on. Me and Nicole have been, me and Nicole has been married since 2010. And me and Nicole ain't been on track since 2015. So for since 2015, I have been fighting for this marriage. 2017, it got really bad. Really, really bad. And it, And none of that was... I didn't understand that Nicole suffered from mental illness until she had two incidents where she got really, really low and I called her mom. And I was like, I need help. And her mom was like, it's your fault. She been down there five years. You making, you not making sure she on her medicine. And I'm like, medicine? The heck you talking about? I had no idea. Nicole didn't disclose it to me. So I told her then that I kind of felt away because what? But that's my friend. I love her to pieces. So I was going to beat her for her and help her. Oh, I'm going to put some earrings on for y'all. But I feel like the marriage has been strained. And I feel strained since then. And I feel like all this time I put my feelings on the back burner to make sure that her mental health was okay. And mine drowned. You know? So when Nicole was leaving out, I was like, wow, really? I even told you I was depressed and stuff. And you never did anything to try to help me. Like... But I did so much to try to help you. So I just feel like I'm at peace. I'm okay. Um, and I'm okay with everything. I really am. I'm not hurt. I'm not bottled up crying at night. I can eat. I wish it was one of my can't sleep, baby. I can't eat. I wish it was one of them. But, baby, I've been eating. I've been sleeping. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm okay. This say, I will give the world to get to know you better. I promise not to abuse the privilege. Sir. <laughs> you supposed to be asking a question. Is that a question? S sir. <laughs> you don't want to deal with me. Platinum ain't nothing nice. <laughs> ain't nothing nice about me. Mm-mm. Especially not now. I'm going for the gold. I'm sorry. Love got my heart broke. Where them dollars at? Gold, diggle. So if you approach me, you already know. You gotta be a trick. Okay. So, this say, how are you really doing? I just answered that. Do you think Nicole will come back and do you want her back? I've already answered that. Y'all asked the same thing over and over. Um, do I think she will come back? No. Because all the other times she left me. <laughs> Remember I said I gotta laugh to keep from crying. All the other times she left me, I begged for her to come back. Like, girl, you are tripping. Every relationship go through this. Nicole had never been in a relationship before me either ever so that was hard because she didn't know that this is typical relationship stuff you get what i'm saying every other time say like, come on back home man you tripping bring that stuff on back this time i'm not doing it <laughs> it was even one whole time we were separated nine months y'all didn't even know but no i'm not doing it this time because for one you don't get to keep leaving me i, I i'm worth more than that I'm worth a talk it out. Let's get this done. You don't get to keep leaving me, bro. So, no, I'm not going to ask for you to come back. And do you want her back? No. <laughs> that sounds so mean. I got her. I said, me and Nicole, we text her right now. I swear to God, I can look right now. And she's texting me. Boom. Number one up there. Huh, Shay. So, I didn't lose. I lost the spouse, but I, I still got my friend, and that's all that matters. All right, now, simply, how are you? Oh, I'm okay, y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for being so concerned, but I, I really am okay. I was left, but, and it was like sporadically, like, girl, where are you going? But, I like I told y'all, I understand why she left, and um, I'm really okay. I mean, I know y'all probably asking beyond her because, baby, I be stressed over here, but I'm okay. My daddy has calmed down a lot. Shug's boyfriend has been there the past two weeks, so I haven't had to even... Baby, I barely seen my baby. Her man, my man, my man, my man here, so, baby, I barely been seeing my little baby. And so, um, I'm okay. Thank y'all for asking so much. And so... Let's see. 
are you okay <laughs> that's the next question it is i promise you okay the next one how are you doing <laughs> okay y'all uh, i think it's safe to say girl see this is why i like sugar doing my hair because sometimes i'll be doing a fool i don't be know how to cut this stuff off i think it's safe to say i'm okay i've Went on to Houston, had me a good old time, brought the new year in. That was emotional because that's usually our anniversary. But I really am. I'm okay, y'all. If we can get past the are you okay question. I thought y'all was going to be real juicy, but y'all just really genuinely checking on me, and I appreciate that. No question, you are great, and continue being who you are and enjoy living your life. Baby, thank you. Thank you so much, honey. Life after giving. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, yeah. It's been a rough three years. Hopefully 2024. No, 2024 will be a whole lot easier on me. There will be a lot of blessings. I will finally start to feel appreciated and seen and heard in real life, on YouTube, on everything. I just wish the best for me because I feel like I genuinely deserve it. I did my time. <laughs> this lash, I wish it would go up like that, honey. Because you see how it make my eyes look different? I'll fix it later. But yeah, child. I'm, I'm okay, y'all. Ready for my blessings and etc. So the next question is... New self-love plans, ideas for 2024. Nope. <laughs> I ain't got a plan because all these other years I had all these plans, strategies, pl plan, plot, strategize, and just kept getting... Sh 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 <laughs> no, for real. Like, I ain't planning nothing. Of course, my, my regular goals and what I want to do and type stuff, but I ain't... Because I could, I could think things going one way. And my dear heavenly father be like, <laughs> I can show you better. I can tell you, knock me right off my A game. So I got some goals and some plans, but I ain't gonna discuss them. And it's gonna be a good year. From one Libra to another, going through a very similar separation. It's not us. You're not alone. Hugs, but it's never us. It's never us. Let me stop playing. But you're right. You're right. Um, hang in there, baby. We got this. The next question. Do you plan on moving again? <laughs> Answer that already too. I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. I feel like I'm fresh out of jail. Can I come up with my plan first? <laughs> I honestly don't know, y'all. Much as I would love to, um, the Airbnb makes me a great deal of money. And... A whole other, other factors I talked about already. So, honey, I really don't know. Then that house big as hell, shit. I ain't gonna be on it by myself. Maybe I do, though, child. <laughs> Maybe I do. So, let's see what we got. Would you ever double back on a friendship? Absolutely. There is nobody who... Who asked that? I'm trying to say there's somebody I used to be friends with. There's absolutely nobody in this world that could get me to a point to where I just cut them absolutely off unless they do something like snakeish. Like I look up tomorrow, they talking to Nicole. You know what I'm saying? Or they did something to my kids or, you know, something like that. Other than that, absolutely, because I feel like it just be misunderstanding sometimes. And at some po point and sometimes in your life, you just don't be understanding the understanding. Sometimes you got to pull back away and be like, oh, I do see it like that. Or it was bad timing. So, yeah, I double back on friends. I have. I'm back talking to the soap girl. Um, and I got a couple of other ones I need to reach out to because I realized um, that I miss them. And... What they did was major, but it wasn't major enough for me to cut them off. So, what you ever go back on a friend? Okay, so this same pro girl, you had a lot of questions. Girl, you nosy. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> this say, how's our buddy doing? 
I answered that already. Oh, here's one somebody has an answer. How it should take in a separation. That is a really, really good question because y'all, when it first happened, boy, I was shook. Should been on her or since she was what four? And they call these they call each other tugabug. So her tugabug gone, y'all. But they had a real bad moment when Nicole was leaving. Nicole was like, can I just say something to Suge? And I was like, no, because Suge is already helping you put your stuff in the car. Why make it worse? Like, just go. You get what I'm saying? But then Nicole broke down real, real bad and wouldn't drive off. So I was like, uh, let me let Suge go on out there. It ain't like Suge two years old, you know? And they both broke down real, real bad together, but... Baby, she ain't man being here. She ain't think about me. She ain't think about Nicole. She ain't think about nobody but her man, her man, her man. Till he go back tomorrow. Oh my gosh. He goes back tomorrow. So, yeah. All right. Two more. And I think I already answered these. Hey, beautiful. Are you going? Oh, no, I didn't. Hey, beautiful. Are you going to take a relationship break or bring on the roster? Asked them jokingly. You ain't joking, my boy. You ain't joking. <laughs> uh, bring on the roster. Showtime. I'm old. What I'm waiting for? I got left. Respectfully. <laughs> what am I waiting on? I'm down for some dates and etc. Will you be? <laughs> um, yeah. I'm scared because, baby, from listening to y'all, Wait, I want this to go like this. From listening to y'all and y'all stories, not y'all, I'm just saying in general. Friends on Facebook, all that. <laughs> Baby, they play too much and I shoot. <laughs> but it'll all work out for me. I miss companionship. I miss feeling love, feeling desired. I miss all of that, so yeah, I'm on my side. It is. So I think it's what? Hold on, might be a few more. No question. Just want to say I'm extremely proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't even know how to curl her. What the hell I'm doing? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It took a lot for me to not fight for that. Because the past 10 years, any time something has happened between us, I have been the fighter. It took a lot for me to say, you know what? Let me help you pack your stuff. It took a whole lot, but I did it. So I'm proud of myself too. I am. Phone keep locking up on me, y'all. Okay. This say, hope you are feeling and you're, oh, I read that one. How's your health? Y'all, yeah, do you see yourself? Glad. Uh, are you really? Oh, I think that's it. I just want to say, because that's all of the questions, I, I stopped taking them or I took it down because everybody was asking the same thing. Am I okay? Am I going to let Nicole come back? Is Nicole going to come back or are we going to work it out? And yeah, it got repetitive. Um, I just want to say that because a lot of you guys look at me as inspiration, if you're ever in a relationship, like I just got out of oh, in a relationship period and you are scared of the outcome, baby, don't be. I was scared for numerous reasons. I was worried about her mental health. I was worried about bills. I was worried about getting low. I was worried about all that, but... You just got to have faith and trust that God is going to make a way. And you got to get out because it's only God is going to put you in a position to where you have no choice but to twofold. Because you ain't listening. You ain't listening. So, 
do what you gotta do for your mental health it might seem hard especially for me because i even hit the call the other day and i was like i was just thinking like I, you know how i be sick all the time if i gotta go to the hospital shook hey i don't know she's so funny acting now who gon' you know what i'm saying but i was just like she was even like you know i will still come and help you i was like girl you did go to doctor's appointments when you was here with me <laughs> but yeah It'll all work out, y'all. I'm going to be okay. If not, I'll let y'all know I'm not okay. I'll take a break and all that. I ain't going to have y'all worried about me or nothing. But it'll all be okay. And I hope I answered all of you guys' questions on my side. Where they at? Don't come to me with no issues. I kind of want a gay husband. Okay, I want to get because I don't want nobody trying to sleep with me all the time. I just want somebody who want to go on some trips. Who want to take some cute pictures? Who want to have some fun? Who I, who want to go to Cancun next week and we can go get drunk, eat, and come back? And yeah, I ain't got to worry because that's another thing. I got to keep that to myself too because I'm a motherfucking beast. Okay? And I don't need no stalkers. So guys, I hope I answered all of you guys' questions to the best of my ability. Um, we should do another one of these in about a month so you guys can get another update on me. I love you guys. Thank you all so much for caring about me so much. Don't forget to check out Ashamari Hair. I will leave the link, the discount code, and all of that below the video if they provide me with one. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.